All right, guys, welcome back. So this is going to be the beginning of a very long, very in-depth, very chronological series on all the product lines, all the accessory lines, and I'm going to try to debust as many kind of keywords as, as possible because a lot of people do get confused. And I'm going to try and demyth again and debust the whole detailing industry because, as you know, with every product type there is 10,000 options available now as a, a consumer it is sometimes not your job to know sometimes it could be very overwhelming to know and the age-old question was well what's best for me what you know what product do I use for this application so this is why this series is going to be kept up forever and it's a perfect video series to actually refer back in time see how to use the products and what are the best ways so the first product that we're going to be tackling is, of course, the Yum Wheels. It is a very popular product. It's gained its worldwide notoriety now, I think. It is being compared to pretty much the top 1% of wheel cleaners that exist on the planet. And I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the spec. So when you do watch this video, um, you'll know what it's like, what its capabilities are. and. This is why I also, like I say to all my customers, this is why I believe this product in most cases is the best on the planet. So when we came up with this product, when we first went to the drawing board in 2018 now, and the option was very clear, obviously it has to clean wheels, that is standard. However, it has to have many properties. Now, the usual way of cleaning wheels, as you will find, is so you've either got an acidic wheel cleaner, an alkaline wheel cleaner or somewhere right down the middle is a pH neutral cleaner. Each of the options that are available have its benefits and the two options on the far left and right have got obviously some serious drawbacks if you get this wrong. So my spec with the chemistry team was it has to be a two-in-one product as a minimum as a bog standard. So the first part of the formula which a lot of people see instantly is it's got several fallout agents built into the formula so if you've got in this case i've got black wheels so it's gonna be very hard to see unless you rinse it off but if you've got say hyper silver wheels or very light colored wheels what you will see is an instant reaction to the brake dust now ab around 75 percent of of the contamination on a performance braking system is brake dust now brake dust usually contains metal particles and this is where the fallout agents bond onto the, onto the contamination and start to turn a purple and that is the reaction caused by the raw materials. Now the other part of the formula which you will never see, however it is there and a very good telltale sign is when you start agitating the wheel cleaner you start seeing the puff of foam and that basically that dictates that it's got high foam in multiple degrees within the wheel cleaner and that is to get the other part of the contamination that you put on the road. So soot, silt, oil, hundred other things that obviously the wheels and the tires are the worst possible area to actually, you know, clean obviously and to keep clean. So as a result, what we've come up with is I think an absolute gem of a product. So two in one wheel cleaner, it's got a fallout agent. So it cuts through half of the wheel, the other agent, which again, will cut through the oils and the soots that you pick up on the road during your daily driving. So this wheel cleaner is extremely dummy proof. Like with all our products, what I would recommend, the first thing you do, so again, this is a brand new bottle, is give all products a heavy shake. Now, because all of our products mainly are mixed together, so two in one, four in one, all these type of products, you've got quite a lot of active ingredients in the product. So the best way to ensure you get the best results is give it a shake and obviously you'll start to see it's, it's starting to mix there. Now, there's been a big debate in the detailing industry um, of do I rinse the wheel? If I rinse the wheel um, and then I spray the product on, is it gonna dilute it? Look, if you're gonna live in that sort of world of will this dilute this or if I don't do this, this is gonna do this, literally you're overcomplicating it straight away. My recommendation is if you spray, imagine this was silver, this wheel cleaner on, it will flash even more aggressively because you've got loose contaminants that can potentially be removed with the aid of a pressure washing system. So what I recommend is give it a good thorough rinse. This will remove stuff that is easily removed with water and then the wheel cleaner, 
yes, it'll get diluted by 0.3%, but realistically, because this is so potent, it will make no difference. So again, we're gonna just rinse this nice and easily. So, wheel is rinsed. Again, it's cool to the touch. Perfect, exactly how you want it. Now, be as liberal as you can. Obviously, don't put the whole bottle on the wheel because you're wasting product. You just want an even film of product on the wheel. Anything on top of that film is gonna run off and it's a waste. So, let's prime the trigger up. So, I like to start with the barrels, especially on a high performance car because the barrels always attract and hold more brake dust. So again, I've got an even film, spray bottom to top, top to bottom, it really does not matter. There we go. So that is an even film. Now what you will see now is it's, it's been what, three seconds and it's already starting to pull all the dirt. So what I like to do while that's setting up, it's the fastest reacting dual action wheel cleaner in the world. Again, this is not a dedicated fall hour remover because something bleeds doesn't mean it is just a fall hour remover. Same thing like with foam, because it foams doesn't mean it's just a shampoo or it's snow foam. So while that's setting up now, what I'm gonna do is I like to use obviously our wheel willies. Now, the biggest wheel willy that will come into the barrel of this wheel is the smallest one. So again, I like to give them a wet. Now, if you know your wheels are particularly bad, I like to just preload it on the first few passes. And what that will do is just give it the extra bite. And basically what you want to do now is just methodically work it, work the wheel cleaner in. And at the end of the day, because the product is that strong and that good, your job is not to sit there scrubbing away because that's not the whole point and the enjoyment. Um, of cleaning your car. So what you want to do is just literally, you're agitating the dirt. The brake just isn't being melted away like other people claim. It is literally just being lifted from the surface. Brake dust is still there, now it's loose. Now what you're gonna find is when you do that final rinse, now just look at the state of this brush. It's absolutely horrific. Now on the final rinse, because it is loose, what you're gonna find is you just give it a very good thorough rinse and you're gonna have obviously a clean wheel. Now the reason I've decided to go for a two-in-one wheel cleaner is yes you can go and get yourself a pH neutral or again alkaline based wheel cleaner and then periodically hit it with a fallout remover, etc., etc. Now, why have two products when you can have one? That's my theory. So yes, you are going to be basically using a fallout every time you wash your wheels. And yes, you are going to be using wheel cleaning agents every time you wash your wheel. However, as you've just seen, this wheel is probably three days old in terms of since the last clean, and it's absolutely trash. So the people that say, oh, a wheel cleaner is just enough or, or whatever, it's not because clearly there's been a lot of brake that's been generated and every time I know my barrels, after this rinse, I can run my hand in the barrel and there's no contaminants, there's no roughness because every time I'm removing them. Now into the face of the wheel, exactly the same. Your job is not to scrub. You are literally just agitating. So as you can see, it's just immediately starting to puff up with, well, white and purple foam because I am picking up a ton of contamination. So your job is again, no scrubbing, just move the product around, get into all the areas. It's better to be thorough than it is, you know, speedy and trying to get all four wheels done in three minutes. Because trust me, especially on a car like this or any other high performance car, if you miss a little bit of brake dust and then you try and dry the wheel, it's gonna stand out like a sore thumb because you're gonna have a shiny decontaminated wheel and you're gonna have a few brown spots because brake dust, especially once it starts to build up, tends to have like a brown hue to it.
especially on black. So just do not rush the process. And the main thing is just enjoy it. Enjoy the process and you'll be golden. So as you can see, I'm starting to puff up a lot of, um, a lot of foam. Now, because today is a fairly hot day, what I like to do is I like to rinse my brushes out periodically as well, even if I'm halfway through a wheel. It just adds a bit more water to it, a bit more slickness obviously is being generated by the wheel cleaner. And that's it. Literally, I like to go into the lug nuts. Just make sure you get everything now. Try and access as much of the caliper as you can because calipers get missed very often. And brake dust, this is the problem with brake dust. And uh, like I said, the more high performance car you go up, the worse this point is going to get, I'm about to say, is brake dust is extremely, extremely corrosive. Now, if you let it hang and um, you let it do its thing, this is where you start seeing um, finish failure on the wheels, especially in the barrels, because a lot of people actually don't use barrel brushes. A lot of stuff on the calipers happens as well. On the housing where it holds your rotors or your brake discs. Now I just, anywhere this brush can safely get to, I just like to do this. Now, you may think this is overkill, but that's took me, what, all of 10 seconds. Now, if you do this every week, every time you wash your car, you're just gonna have perfect results. So now I'm gonna rinse it off and we're gonna do a test. Now what you see here is one of our dedicated wheel plush towels. So this from our plush range. Now exactly, it's perfectly white. Okay, this is freshly cleaned. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna wrap my finger around here and I'm gonna go first into the barrels. There's nothing there, as you can see. And then look, I'm gonna dry the wheel and the whole goal is you should not see anything. Now, if you've missed a little dot, fair enough, you know what I mean? But the whole towel should not be coming out black. Now, again, beautiful. Now, these are the wet patches. Look at that, completely nothing. Now that's the Yum Wheels for you. It is a very high performance cleaner. As you've seen, it is, again, I wish I had silver wheels just for this demonstration. Obviously, if I had a camera under the car, you'd actually see everything kind of bleeding away. Now, again, like I said, look, I am feeling inside the barrel, and I know you can't see this through the camera, but there is literally no contamination in the barrel and this is just the way i like it yes it costs slightly more but quality as always trumps quantity so you can go and buy a cheaper wheel cleaner in your five liter variants and you can go and buy you know your fallout at half the price now you're going to use twice as much i barely did probably what nine ten sprays for the whole wheel that is you know standard i've seen wheel cleaners where you can you know use 20 sprays yes it's half the price you use twice as much so like I always say, everything in this world is always relative. So it's extremely strong. You've seen the way it clings, so it doesn't just run off. It's not a liquid, it's more of a gel. Now, again, with the way these triggers aerate the product and the way they deliver that product onto the finish of the car or the wheel, um, it sticks, obviously it reacts. It has a longer time for reaction. And again, perfect every time. I mean, look, these wheels have had thousands of miles in them. Sometimes it's a while in between of when I clean them because again, I sometimes have very little time, but every time I do do it, I'm deconning them and I'm cleaning them at the same time. Now with this as well, it's super safe to use on paint. So again, about once a month, I do a maintenance touchless iron fallout uh, removal. And that is because, again, the more you touch the car, the more possibility you've got of scratching the car. So what I like to do, is I'll spray it usually, you know, in the bottom two thirds, not the bottom third, the two thirds. So probably up to here. And then every three months I'll do the whole car. However, what I'm trying to say is on a touchless level, I let this dwell again, hopefully the temperatures are cooler and I let it dwell for as long as possible and I rinse. Now this will probably remove 97% of any embedded fallout that is on there because again it's touchless I'm not agitating it I'm just literally putting it on rinsing it off now because I do this every month 
and the whole kind of flat panel and the glass every three months, this means that it's very, very rare that I have to even consider claiming the car for tar or iron deposits because I do it on a regular basis. So, yes, it says in wheels, it is dedicated for the wheels, but all the raw ingredients mixed together are totally safe for the car. So whether you have you know, a one litre car and it's not kicking up that much brake dust, or you've got an absolute monster of a car that's got huge brakes and there's uh, brake dust every time, you know, you ap apply the brakes. It doesn't matter. This is a universal product. So it's perfect on carbon ceramics, like you've already seen on our GLC. So we use it safely on the carbons, use it on, you know, traditional brakes. And yeah, for the people who've bought it again, comment down in the comment section below just how effective this wheel cleaner is and i hope you've enjoyed the first episode of this more in-depth product series where i'm going to try and you know debust as much as i can now the fact that you've seen this video i would love in the comments in the youtube video please let me know exactly what you want to see so you already know what's coming so it's going to be all the other products all the other accessories now if you've got anything specific you want me to touch on on those kind of product lines its effects its benefits please put them down in the comments and i'll be sure to, to cover everything so anyway guys hope you've enjoyed the yum wheels again my favorite product hands down my favorite product it has never ever let me down i've never come to a set of wheels and i thought oh god i need to get something else on this every time on paint on wheels it is just an unbelievable product all i ask is buy one bottle use the whole bottle make your judgment and i will always see you next week for another order apart from that guys hope you enjoyed the video i'll catch you in the next one see you later